doesn't. For now, we'll be hoping that he can equalise more straight away. That time it was Heppen going forward. Oh, it's yellow. Position they go now. Away. Yeah, still very solidly defensed. To be fair, Greece have had a solid defence throughout this tournament, not quite as good as Finland, but they've only conceded 22 goals yeah. so far in seven or so games they've played now, so that's, I mean, that's not bad game. Yeah. Not bad at all. <laughs> not bad at all, really. Yeah. I think that's, uh, they can turn defence into attack and get another goal in this game because if they can go soon, then all. Yeah. It's, uh, well, I think Finland will be quite nervous. What? Yeah, of course, yeah. But this is the first minutes of the final. And of course, yeah, uh, uh, women teams are now uh, who are in the middle games. They play first time in at this venue, uh, this play hall. And, and oh, there's some. Uh, just uh, avoiding the penalty yeah. now. Which is very, very clever. And yeah. the opening stages, actually, of this women's yeah. tournament. A yeah. lot of the teams were getting penalties yeah. because of that 10 second time. And they've really, started to really, learn yeah. and develop yeah. throughout this tournament. And I remember the first game, they uh, took two times uh, 10 seconds penalty against Finland. So Finland make calls from this, those uh, penalty chances. So they couldn't give, give them. You can't give them the opportunity to yeah. like that in this, uh, this grand final. Of course, both of these teams will be getting promoted to yeah, European yeah. A, but they all want the gold medal, don't really? they? So that's what they're here for. Yeah. Yeah, wanting to, to go back home with that. At the moment, if they want to do that, they've got to find a goal from somewhere at the moment. That Greek wall is holding firm. There have been any problems uh, so far. Uh, great defense, great work so far. And then trying to Ooh. sneak it in, just floating a little bit too far wide of that far post. Uh, Vasiliki was scrambling yeah. to get that. There will be a Greek ball in there, all white shirt. Again, the top goal scorer of Asaliki trying to go diagonally. Leaping across there. Was leaping him. Yeah. The block in. And once again, it's that centre player of Paraskevi who just seems to be covering every single yeah. shot off. Yeah. What a wonderful job of it so far. Oh, the really spinning, spinning ones, but quite really confident, confident, safe. Oh, and it goes that time, so Finland will be quite happy that they can just get the ball immediately back. Yeah. Six minutes gone in two of this first half. Still six minutes to go until half a time. Is still pushing forward and taking the time when they get the chances. There's no real backwards and forwards at the moment, there's no real yeah. snapshots. So, if yeah. you get a shot, get it, take your time, yeah. Yeah. position yeah. yourself, and then yeah. see what you can do. Yeah, not any quick uh, replies then. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, and, and that's that's was I think, their game plan of uh, Greece that they get the one, uh, the leading goal, and then they. All the focus on defence, yeah. yeah. Sit back and defend, as it, uh, as it would be called in England, that is park the bus. Yeah, park the bus, yeah. Yes, park the bus it. in front of yeah. the goal, yeah. don't yeah. move. Um, or if we're going to put it in Greek terms, we'll call yeah. it the Trojan horse. Yeah. Uh, they're doing very well at the moment just to defend against this very vicious finish attack. I mean, they scored yeah. 52 goals alone in the group stage. Yeah, really. And yeah. They, they like to spread their goals around. Score coming into this was Happenham with 27 goals, but she's not really had too much in terms of decent shots so far. Yeah. The top goal scorer Vasiliki has the ball at the moment in the centre, floating in, and that's a bouncing effort oh, that yeah. can always cause issues, those ones. 
And that's a quick reply there from Finland. They're starting to get a bit more also, tempo. Also think that uh, Finland should put more uh, bouncing efforts uh, towards the Greek defense. It, it could be one good uh, one good option to break through. You can catch teams off so many times with that bouncing effort because one, of course, you don't know where it is, but it can take a lucky bounce. Yeah. It can deflect off a leg and bounce into the net. And really, really, we see them all the time. So, like you say, at the moment, Finland not really taking many risks, just straightforward efforts. And yeah, it's still plenty of time. They don't need to make a risk at all. Uh, of course. The second half, if they uh, they are still down, they have to stop to take maybe more risk. But now it's yeah, more Im important to get uh, good accuracy to the throws and, and find the gap. And the need to make sure they do, though, of course, is not to concede another one. Greece, they are still going for. They are still trying to find those little pockets of space. The uh, Soch just lacking a little bit of venom, not really mm. having much power in it, but and then still forward and testing. So leaking out, potentially going for a diagonal bouncing effort and just palmed and kept hold of there by the centre for Finland. Official timeout, yeah. Because of noise on the crowd. We just have had a lot of new colours coming in, tricky yeah, through, believe yeah, from yeah. the. Uh, Allegation player from Hall 2. And they're sufficiently happy with the noise level so they can continue and it will be for them with Leppin and with a strong effort and a strong save as well there. Had to be equal to it. Yeah, still very solid defence on, on Chris side. And, oh, it was a really powerful effort by Leppin, but no, not get through. Quite the opposite, really, there from uh, Stamati Evgina with her effort. More going for precision rather than that uh, sheer pace and power. What Finland are uh, trying at the moment, going down the middle, and it's deflected and not gone in. It's just off the line. That's a miraculous save and a recovery by Akova Saliki coming oh, in oh. from her side into the centre and stopping the ball on the goal line. That's what you were saying, wasn't it, about those bouncing efforts? Yes. They can cause such confusion and nearly there, Finland forcing an equaliser. I think now Finland, Finland is uh, getting into this game and they are uh, putting more uh, effort in their trolls. And, yeah. and high ball, penalty! Oh, well, there we go. Oh. Just as you were saying, Finland are starting to find their groove, yeah. find their rhythm. They've yeah. got a perfect opportunity here from the penalty to get an equaliser. The Akko Vasiliki to defend for Greece. And it will be it's the other number two for Finland, Klista Lebanon. To take. She steps up, sends her the wrong way. Ah, and make a goal! 1-1! One, one. And it is indeed 1-1. One, one. Finland level in this game. And it's no more than they deserve. They pushed and pushed. And, and immediately. Finally. Yeah, once again, immediately after a goal, uh, uh, the team take a time out. And um, yeah. Well, they've got to rediscuss tactics now. We were talking, weren't we, uh, about Greece. Their plan was to get a goal and sit back. Yeah. Oh, it's 1 1. What do they have to do now? How, how do yeah. they go about the game? I, I think uh, uh, they still. Uh, uh, Try to defense and uh, maybe uh, try to get get uh, Finland uh, uh, girls uh, uh, get frustrated. Of course, they have defense really, really solidly. So that was a really bad mistake to make uh, make a penalty in this uh, situation. But yeah, of course, so, of course, Vasily Kiako is a, it's a, she's a danger woman in this on Greece side. And very good bouncing effort immediately. Say after you've just conceded, you are your most vulnerable. So Greece needs to be wary of that. Here with Finland having their first shot since their goal, with Leppinen going for diagonal, but well covered off in the end by Evgenia, the number nine on this near side. Uh, 
again, going for a very precise <laughs> effort. <laughs> really trying to sneak it in yeah, almost. Really. Keeping it in on the line. And then trying to sneak it into the bottom corner. Trying to almost catch her and the off guard. Yeah. Scary. Bouncing effort again Bouncing this again. time from Greece. Have the ball in a moment with the centre. Playing it diagonally and it's smothered by the Greek centre. Skevy. Shot this time. And 10 second penalty ten again. Second penalty. They made them, uh, as I mentioned before, they meant, meant, uh, made them a couple of times against Finland uh, uh, in the group stage game and now... That is a crucial yeah. error. Yeah. Maybe it's just a bit of lack of experience in these yeah. final games. Maybe the pressure getting to Greece a little bit. But yeah, two penalties for Finland. And what well, you said that Finland don't really miss penalties. Very good opportunity here. Again, Lappinen to take this time against Maka Paleskevi. Up to the plate and oh. sending the ball into the bottom, a right hand corner. Palaskevi gets right, but it was too powerful and too precise. And Finland yeah. take the lead with two minutes to go until half time. Yeah. <laughs> the game has turned around very quickly because of uh, bad, mi bad mistakes, uh, give penalty chances because uh, Crystal Eppanen sees a He's a really uh, great thrower and power, powerful throws and this time also with great accuracy and you, you can give this kind of, uh, you, you can't afford shots of uh, penalty chances to Finland. It's, it's, it's now Chris, they must uh, reset and start again. Uh, their great work, uh, defense work still continue this, that work, but of course now, now they are one goal down and so they have to also uh, start to uh, think uh, where they can uh, break through the Finnish defence. Well, now. I think that's why, really, they've just made, a, well, about to make a substitution. They're bringing on uh, Mavarotti and Lampia oh, yeah. onto the field. She's their second top goal scorer across the tournament. 12 goals, she's replaced. Seven, Naka Palaskevi. Was, of course, at fault for that 10 second time of penalty so understandable oh. of why the substitution has been made and she's sure having to throw the ball out there to avoid another what? 10 second penalty and now is the momentum is uh, absolutely on the Finland side let's see can they use it the, get one more goal before the half time it's it would be really crucial here going forward now with her Trademark bouncing efforts. Yeah, she's been doing all week long, and she's been sent the wrong no! way. There. And that instant sub from Greece has not worked. And just like you were saying, can Finland yeah. get a third before <laughs> half time? Not the answer. Yes, they can. Man. Wonderful finish into the bottom left hand corner, sending the substitute of Lampia the wrong way. And Greece have got it all to do in this game now. Yeah, really. Finland uh, one half away from returning as champions to European 8 as gold medalists. It's Lampia going for one of those bouncing efforts. Nearly sending Kapila the wrong way, but uh, managing to, to hold firm and keep hold. All goes out and we're into the final 60 seconds of this half. Saliki, top goal scorer of this tournament. Oh! oh just goes straight out of play almost from the moment yeah. that the, uh, the ball left her hand. And we know that she can do better than that. Yeah, We're really. aware of, of her talents and she's going to have to to turn up big time second half if uh, Greece wants uh, that gold medal. Nice recovery there from Lampia to scamper back and make the save and she'll now go for one of those bouncing efforts it goes down the centre feel it holding it's firm blocked, yeah. she now goes for a bouncing effort of yes. her own and nearly oh, creeping nearly. in and having to just dive back there was Virginia just to hold on to the ball 
It's Lee kicking up, going for her own bouncing effort down to the middle. Into the final 10 seconds we go of this half, so this will be the last opportunity. Can fill and grab a fourth going for a quiet effort, really, towards the centre. He's now back in possession. Man. And it is half time. It's half time, yeah. Greece started uh, pretty well, really solidly in defense, defensively, and, and yeah, of course, they made the first goal very important, but after that, uh, uh, they made a bad mistake. Uh, they give a, penalty, a high ball penalty first, and then 10 seconds uh, pe team penalty, and oh, that Finland turned the game around, and now they are even 3-1 lead and it's 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 a big lead uh, many times in women's games and, and like this uh, gold medal games where uh, athletes put all their focus uh, uh, for the defense duties as well I think that it's it's uh, quite safe now and uh, it's also because uh, Finland uh, drawing of Finland girl, Finnish girls, it's, it's very good. Krista uh, Leppanen uh, draw, draws really powerful throws, and Ida Kauppila put a lot of punch, and it's it's very challenging uh, uh, at the moment for Greece defense. And, but let's see, uh, of course, Greece they have to start to take uh, more and more risk uh, during the second half if they are still down. Greece have got it all to do. They got a dream start by taking the lead, but two crucial errors and two very well tucked away penalties put Finland in a 2 1 lead before them, extending their lead just before half time. Don't believe any more substitutions are being made by either side. And well, I, I think that's probably the right way to go about it. Greece have just made a change, don't need to make yeah. a good one, although saying that. Naka Palaskevi. Yeah, yeah, I think he's on the field at the moment. Yeah. And I do believe she will be coming on for uh, Stamati Evgina, the number nine. So, it's so maybe an interesting change to introduce Palaskevi immediately after bringing her off. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think she's in mid just some break, and then now they need a more yeah, firepower on the, on the court. And uh, let's see. Well, they've got Vasiliki and Evlampin on yeah. both sides, on both wings. Yeah. That's the firepower. You've got Palaskevi down the middle to, yeah. to sweep up and to, to smother any balls that come her way. But then you've just got that really? gigantic finish back yeah, and now to get past. <laughs> uh, and they will be in no mood to concede. Uh, they've definitely not made any changes at all. The referee just making sure all the eye shades and eye patches are all OK and operational. They start lapping them. Last one at Subi. Checked. Alongside her, of course, she has either Kopila and Nina Gronrush. I do hope. Yeah. I've not, uh, I've not butchered any pronunciation. <laughs> yeah, you are doing well. Yeah, brilliant. Brilliant stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's have looked at both teams' second half. We're about to get off and underway again in this final. Of course, we've got the men's coming up very shortly. But all focus now on who can get the gold and who can get the silver yeah. in this game. Greece 1, Finland 3. Here's the score, second half to get underway. Breeze are just making sure they're ready. Yeah. Will be a Greece start. Plenty of spectators have filtered in now on the far side. So even a Finland flag that's now sprawled across yeah. the uh, the stands. So uh, your people are here. Don't worry, they're they're supporting. Really. There we go. So uh, Greece to get it kicked off with Sleeky. Greece need a bit of her magic at the moment. Goes for. And Ron bouncing through and lapping and just getting across there, blocking it with uh, midriff. Yeah. Turns it down the centre and Paskivi getting back involved since coming off the bench again. So he keeps trying to find Ooh. that pocket of space. And, and it does. does. And those are the kind of efforts yeah. you need if you want to win golds. 
Oh. Brilliant from Sleeky. Found that pocket of space, didn't she? Between Lapanen and Kopila, bounced over into the net. Oh. And Greece, all of a sudden, yeah, have a way back into it. Really? And yeah, once again, great start for the Greece, uh, as they did in the first half. Yeah. Very massive call for the Greece. Up and denied immediately after the restart, but the ball does go back to Finland. Yeah. Greece couldn't keep hold. Well, Finland will need that fourth goal now. The next goal is so crucial in this game. Oh, really? It's nicely blocked by Evlampia. Just wing back to grab hold of that, and she'll now go on her own. Another one of her bouncing efforts blocked well, two handed by Kapila. Ball goes out, finish ball. Less than a minute gone in this second half and already the game has completely changed complexion yeah. from what it was only a few moments ago at half time. We were saying, you know, Finland pretty much in control. And Greece have come out second half fighting. Yeah. Yeah, going forward again Ooh. now, down the centre, blocked by seven that time. Um, in a grand rush. Was it, going for. Vasily Kiago hits this uh, all the time, very dangerous with, with those uh, bounding efforts. It's Spin, throw, bounce, yeah. it's, uh, combining all sorts of throws into one. I figure out where that ball yeah. is going on the court, it's so difficult. It's got Vila, Evlampia equal to it, just kicking it back into play. She'll now have an effort herself. And what this will be, it'll be a bouncing one. It won't quite bounce over the centre. That is definitely what she was aiming for there. Yeah. And then on this near side going for the shot. Well held actually that time by Skevi. Very solid here, yeah. very solid. Two of Lampio trying to find that pocket of space again. Diagon Lafford. It's time for a spin and throw and bounce again from Corpilo. All over. Ball goes back to Finland. Finland side. It'll be Kopila with the ball in hand, but no, she'll actually give it to Lepin and he'll bring it over to this near side. She'll go for effort down the middle. Locked off by. Scary. So that's Leaky. Of course, has scored in this game. to go now and still just about in the lead yes, yeah one goal lead one of those bouncing efforts not quite finding the avenue to goal at the moment for yeah. the side and so dangerous coming forward and nearly Ooh, rolled over from sports. one side of Lampia to the other she yeah got her arm in position to be able to block it yeah, escape there for the Greeks. Wow. Bit, of a, a bit of a wayward effort. Yeah, from, really, uh, from really. From yeah, really. Huge spin at that ball, but <laughs> the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, a little yeah. bit too much spin the opposite way of uh, <laughs> what she was aiming there. Yeah. So the ball back with Greece with fast leaky. Diagonal. Centre with Kopila. Looking for that space, blocks well with the legs. Lampia just on the side, the right channel going for that bouncing effort, and a well, again, well blocked by the Finnish centre. Mina Gromo, she's been in the second half so far, yeah. she's just blocked since that goal. Everything that's come her way, she's just basically put her body on the line to, yeah, really to stop it going yeah, in. Really sort of solid after, yeah, their first. Mistake, but yeah. Again, they're stopping that effort from Sneaky. Again, from our near side, going towards the centre. Time out. Time out calls. Well, that's an interesting time to call, call a time out. Eight minutes to go. Yeah, plenty of time. Uh, but yeah, if this. Has not been already exciting. It, it, it's it's now really exciting because, uh, yeah, Greece is, is uh, they have a 
good throwers now on the core and great, uh, great shots. And but yeah, Finland uh, defense is is working pretty, really solidly now. But yeah, it's only one goal lead and it's, it's cool. So well, Finland won Group B back in 2021. Fortunately, we're relegated from Group A. I've already been brought to back, but would love to win Group B in back-to-back -back years. But this Greek side is not going down without a fight. Back underway now with a sneaky. Out, says the referee. So Finland will get the ball back themselves with Lappinen on this near side. I do feel like a full Finland goal might just be enough. It's a massive call. Oh, but high it's a ball. high ball! Now that is a crucial error from a player we don't associate really with errors. Christel Eppinen giving away a penalty in Greece after conceding two of their own in the first half. Sleeky now has the opportunity from this free throw. But she's missed oh, the target. Oh, that's a devastatingly oh, bad penalty. Really? Lepinen was nowhere near it, but the ball was nowhere near the goal. Yeah. It floats out, and that is a crucial miss by Greece. And I can't help but yeah. they're, they're, they're going to be ruining that chance come the end of the game. Really? Yeah, I believe they are really angry and frustrated now. Maybe Finland can use that. Greece need to make sure they, they put that frustration behind them. Concentrate again. Try and push for that equaliser because if they start to lose their yeah. heads and lose concentration, that's yeah. when Finland will really. pounce. They'll sense the fear in really. Greece for Finland. And that's what they're trying to do now by pushing forward more and more with Finland. But then, nice oh. save. Comes back away and she managed to howl. keep hold of it. Now stepping down the middle in Avlampia. Just about getting there. It's all thought the women's game is a lamp here, but yeah. she did well to get there nevertheless. Right sided winger Kopila goes for one of those spinning shots and so again for that diagonal effort finds the grateful hands of Lampia. She now steps up with a bouncing effort of her own. Straight into the midriff of the centre Gronos. She'll go with a shot now. Tame effort down the centre. Really exciting because it, it was a huge chance uh, for Chris to to make an equalizer by the by the penalty, but no, no. it's that it seems leaky as well. I mean, she is what we've said so many times the top goal scorer yeah. of this tournament, yeah. one of the best players, and to miss a penalty in a final yeah. like that, it's yeah. absolutely devastating stuff. And at the moment, that is the difference between the two sides, but the score is still three two Finland's way. into the centre to take this effort. Floating it down towards the far side and it bounces over Lepinen and she just about recovered it. She just puts it out of play. Yeah. yeah, there was a little panic in Finnish defence, but they managed to keep it out, out of the net. Only three quarters of the way through in this game. Less than six minutes remaining. Finland still lead. And Finland takes a timeout. I'm out. That's, I feel like that's a good moment, really. Yeah, to, really to big, yeah. Because Greece have been building. Yeah. Finland on the ropes a little bit. Now they have a moment just to uh, regroup and maybe just go over a few seconds yeah. before going out for that uh, last six minutes. Yeah, that was yeah very, very good uh, work by the head coach uh, of the Finland team, Artu Mäkinen, to take now uh, peace peaceful time out and take a break and yeah that, and they can or reorganize uh, the, the uh, defense and yeah there was uh, a little little bit panic but now I believe that they can get get again it working well, the, uh, the referee is just waiting for the crowd to calm down a little bit it's uh, raucous and it's Finland on the other side way with Lepin and going towards the centre. Blocked away once again by Palaskevi. It will be a Finland ball again. Going onto that 
far side of the field and down the right channel. It's shot and blocks well by Pierre. And that's the tactical switch that Greece have made. They've yeah. swapped round Vasily King of Lampier. Oh, once again, they have a really big hurry because 10 seconds. Cannot be running caught out by that again because if it's a penalty to Finland, yeah. it's pretty much game over. Skevic staying in a central role now, giving it towards. Sleek has moved over towards his near side. So it means she's up against Lepinum. Different dynamic for those two to fight up against each other. Lepinum goes diagonally in of Lampia. Scrambling to get there, but she yeah. does. Sold a bit now. Balls it out under arm. And... Ooh, very good bouncing ever, but yeah. Just about going out of play. Two cents here. The Greece equaliser in the closing stages. Something in the air about it with four and a half minutes to go. I feel like overtime could be on the cards here. Of course, yeah. Sleeky looking to redeem herself from that penalty miss. Going for a bounce effort, squirming over it. Takes all three Finnish players. Like I said, great teamwork to be able to. Yeah, back out on top. Yeah, there's a very nervy moment. It's getting closer and yeah, closer. With the bouncing effort and nearly squeezing, there was a really massive gap, really, between Kapila and Gonorush. Nearly goes between them and the Vlampier. And Finland nearly concede at one end, and then with a horrible error at the other. No. Bouncing over it. Corpila going with that spin and throw and bounce combination. Bounces oh. over Lampier. The timeout is called. 4 2 to Finland with four minutes to go. Yeah, what? Well, Greece have got to go for it now. Really? Now they, they, they must put everything that they got uh, in their offense, in the droves, all the power that they still have. We have to remember this is the eighth game of the tournament, of course. Uh, all the Athletes are uh, getting tired, but yeah, now they must put all, all in and take some a uh, little risky also in the trolls. They were quite close to equalize, but after that, it was a great response from Finland and Ida Kauppila, the captain of the Finland team. Back on the way and trying to sneak it in and oh! Oh! What a finish, that is! Finish! That's the great response! Vasiliki pulls yeah. one out on the back. Yeah. That is brilliant from her. Came over to this near side, tucks it in bottom corner. 33, 33 goals in this tournament. Greece 3, Finland 4. Ooh. What a drama. It's an instant response that you said Greece need. need to pass by really? something. They're taking a bit more risk in their throws, trying to get a bit more yeah. power into it. Yeah. Of course, those risks could have. To get those high balls and long balls, but Ooh. at stage in the game, it's what you have to do to put those on the line. Try your hardest, and Finland just need to make sure they don't make any more errors. Yeah, no, don't allow any room at all. That's Leaky trying to squirm a ray through, but nicely held by Gronrush. He's now played it towards the right to Kopila. Trying to catch off guard again. Yeah, no. It's not this time. Sleek has gone back over to that far side. She now goes for a tiger effort and well held to buy a leap in him. Yeah, back in her position on this near side. Blocks it. Trees the ball and she'll step up with that. Bouncing effort. Yeah. It's the centre. Once again, causing a little bit of trouble. Yeah, a little bit by the uh, now. Others and goes for an instant reply straight into the uh, route of Kopila. Picks it up. And then the final. Yeah, That's really Kopila. Cool. She's been probably my star player in this final. Yeah. yeah, she has made a really crucial goals and yeah, and, and defense, yeah, brilliantly. It's not over yet. Two and a half minutes to go. 
lamp here has a high oh, ball. ball. She went to, she took her arm back to throw it, and the ball, as she went to launch it forwards, fell out of her hand and went over her head. And a penalty now to Finland to all but sail up with a gold medal. That is the kind of error that you do not want to see in any level of goal ball, never mind a final. So Lepin up against Steph Lampier, but she did save in all fairness of Lampier. A couple of penalties in the groups. Can she do so again here? No, no she can't. Time. And I believe now Finland is securing their victory and the gold medal, but still over two minutes to go. Yeah, they still have two minutes to go, you're right, but I do have to agree. I think Finland might just have done enough now. Greece need a Three goal. penalties. Greece yeah. have conceded. You take those away, Greece are in the lead. Yeah. It's just been errors that have been costing them thus far. Yeah, they have made those uh, mistakes in a, in a very cri critical moment. So it's... And again now, Lampier stopping that with her legs. And, and substitution is coming. Fusion coming off, it is the number four of Lampia. Yeah, it was, it was, yeah, really tough game for her because, yeah, Finland made the fourth goal on, on her side over her body, the bouncing, and after that, uh, bad error in a, in a trove technique, and it, it was, yeah, it was a uh, bit. She's had a brilliant tournament, yeah. but in the final, it's just not gone to plan for her. So coming on to replace her is Shelly Daki Elini, who really had much opportunity to witness her throughout this tournament. Yeah. She has been the uh, lesser used substitute of uh, the five players they have overall, but yeah. on she comes now, maybe just to give a bit of a dynamic into the final two minutes of this game. And yeah, now, now they must, must put all in now. Let's see what's going to happen. Open up. That's possession. Pulling it out under arm and it's blocked there by the centre. Back out towards the right-hand side now. Yeah, now it's, it's very important to throw. Uh, uh, really just by Finland. Straight out of front. Yeah, straight Finland. Out of play. In offence, they, I believe they... Ah, Finland make... Okay. Now Greece have ah, they take again this substitution, yeah. Yeah, what, what, is, what is the reason behind that for doing those substitutions? Lena comes on, makes I, a throw, goes off. Yeah, I think uh, uh, Greece need a time to get uh, uh, some advices to, uh, I think, Vasiliki uh, Ago, uh, uh, to coach, uh, have a time to uh, get some... Uh, give some advices to her where to throw and they need the breaks so so and I believe at the moment uh, Finland should target uh, if Lambia uh, side because yeah uh, there is a post, uh, chance to make a goal but yes of course uh, Vasiliki uh, Ago doesn't get the ball so easily when they throw on the other side continue one minute 30 to go Finland have one hand on that gold medal only got 90 seconds now to hold out Greece though still fighting anything can happen in goal ball we could see a couple of late flurries of goals here and we only did that and time out time out has been called by Finland this time again why do you think this has happened just to get a couple of words on just to see the first yeah weekend. yeah really Really, they want to know. Uh, of course, there is a uh, just a uh, little bit over one minute to go. Now, uh, put all the focus on defense, and of course, also, yeah, the same words that I say. Uh, where to throw? Try to throw to uh, other side than where Spasiliki is now, and, and yeah, they try to get uh, uh, put, get her uh, avoid. Uh, to get the ball and get, the, get her great uh, throws. The shot of Lampier just getting down. Oh. Oh. Like, 
Well played, yeah. Well Pretty placed. Cool. Gives a straight <laughs> to the top goal scorer, Vasiliki. Rolling in and nearly squeezing it in between pocket. To it, and there she goes for wide. Oh! Forward, but then it goes out on Vasiliki. Trying to squeeze it in again towards the yeah. bottom corner. Into the final 60 seconds now. Yeah, I'm fairly confident that Finland will be the European Championship be champions once again, back to back years. Yeah, a lot of, <laughs> of course, they must put really high tempo on the game now, Chris. And timeout wow. taken by Menike Sampolo, the head coach of Greece team. Okay, time out taken, 36 seconds to go. Yeah. Oh, it seems a bit of an interest here. Yeah. But yeah, now I think uh, they must make a goal now. That they get some hope, some belief that they, they can uh, equalize. But now they make a narrow goal and then maybe, maybe they have a chance also equalize. But goal must be made now. And Greece pull the rabbit out of the hat. To say. Yeah, really. Let's yeah, find some magic here. We have Lampier to fire first. Not quite. Blocked well there by Seven Gone Rush. It's got a hunter cup in the middle again. We're only seconds away here from the end. It has to be now for Greece. They have to get a goal with Asliki. And they do! Sneaks in <laughs> off the hand of Lebanon. And oh. two Greece have a lifeline. 17.3 seconds remaining. They have one chance. They have one chance because I believe Finland can't uh, use the 17 seconds from the clock. Because they have a 10 seconds time to throw and yeah. Wow. One, wow, what a thriller. This could be yeah. a grandstand finish. Yeah. My oh my. So like you say, Finland have got to shoot. <laughs> of course, if yeah. they score, yeah. that's it. But then Greece will have the opportunity to fire back. Yeah. And it will be more or less a penalty. But of against three players, really. Yeah. They'll have one opportunity to throw. And if they score, they'll force overtime. If they don't, they <laughs> Finland will be champions. Yeah. And of course, Finland have an opportunity here with Kopila. And will she try and wind a bit of the clock down, or will she just go for the shot? Captain of the Here she goes, Kopila, going for the bounce. And effort it goes oh, straight out of play. Oh, no, no, no. So now there's 10.2 yeah. seconds on the clock. The most important thing that uh, you throw at that uh, towards so the go. defense. Time has started now or never for Greece. It's not snuck in. Lepinen will it's hold the ball. Finland will win. That will be it. Surely. No. Yes, it is. <laughs> Finland are your European Championship B winners. Two Whoa. years in a row. Yeah. What a thrilling final. Five ball victors. They get the gold medal against Greece, who get the silver. What a final. What a final. What a thriller. A lot of drama. Uh, of course, three penalties by Greece. That, that's the uh, biggest reason that they lost that final. Uh, in critical moments, they make a, a bad uh, penalty mistakes. And, but they, I really appreciate the Greece team. They really uh, felt they while they way back but no not enough it was not enough Finland uh, of course they deserved that uh, gold medal they were great in the group stage games and oh they uh, of course semi-final was very tough for them but and also this final it was it was huge thriller it was almost almost uh, level but 5-4 for Finland it, it was amazing amazing to watch and I think uh, all the uh, gold ball friends and fans who uh, watch it and follow this uh, game, they really enjoy it. It was wonderful work. Congratulations for both teams for the 
for this entertaining and exciting thriller. Uh, and of course, the big uh, congratulations to Team Finland. Uh, they are the champion of the European B Group B Championships 2022. That's exactly what they are. What a final. You could not have put that any better. <laughs> well, thank you so much for tuning in. We've got one more game, haven't yeah. we? One more game, yes. the grand final in the men's. Who have we got and what have we got lots, lots to look forward to in that one? Yeah, let's see. Uh, maybe Chris uh, uh, are trying now the gold medal. <laughs> because, yeah, ladies couldn't do this, uh, do it this time. But, yeah, Chris is very, uh, very stable in defense. And they have a Chachi Bandu, the uh, greatest thrower in this tournament so far. And, but, yeah, Israel. They were really happy yesterday when they won the uh, quarterfinal by one goal marching and, and also also the uh, uh, semi-final by one goal marching. It, 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 was, it was really tough, tough games for them. So, yeah, let's see. Of course, they have uh, made a lot of rotation during the tournament. Maybe they still have some energy, energy shaves, but yeah. It will be a huge game, it will be a huge thriller, I believe, as well. So, yeah, thank. let's join us uh, once again. Uh, about one hour we have that game. It's uh, uh, 5 p.m. Uh, this local time. And yeah, it's uh, one hour and 10 minutes. Uh, we will have the final, men's final in this IPSA Global European Group B Championships.